What's up welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. We got the AHP Alpha TIG 200X here. This is the 2015 model. And we're going to be doing some aluminum welding and talking about um, the effect of AC frequency in aluminum welding. But first, I'd like to talk directly to the folks at uh, AHP. Are you listening? Today is October 27th, I think, 2015. I just saw a picture of your new Alpha TIG with improved pulse. Are you kidding me? I just bought this one. This one could have used it. Your 0.5 to 5 second pulse range is pretty useless. But that being said, let's talk about the effects of AC uh, frequency. All right, please uh, ignore and or, and or excuse my crude drawings. But let's say, for instance, this is our piece of aluminum. And this thing, we can set our frequency down to... Forty hertz. So this is our TIG torch, and there's our tungsten. At forty hertz, we might have an arc that looks like this. So we have a rather wide heat range there. Now at our standard. 60 Hertz we might have a bit of a narrower heat area and then at 120 Hertz we're gonna have an even narrower Zone. And finally, we can go all the way up to 200 hertz. I'm writing this upside down, so forgive me. I know our torches have gotten smaller as we've moved on. We're going to have the narrowest of all of the bands. So that is what we can get from changing our frequency, our AC frequency, when we're welding with aluminum or magnesium we can control the width and basically the intensity and heat of the bead when using the same amperage but changing the AC frequency. So let's fire up the Alpha TIG and give her a shot. Okay, here are our test beads, and let's measure them. Let's measure them at, uh, we'll go say what's right in the middle there. And I'm trying to get just the bead, not any of the cleaning area. So we're looking at 0.24445 or 6.21 millimeters for the 40 hertz. Let's see what we got for the 60 hertz. 
5.64 millimeters. The 120 hertz, 4.72 millimeters, and the 200 hertz, 5.41 millimeters. Now let's measure the endings right where the crater is. For the 40 hertz we're at 5.73 for the 60 hertz 6.25 for the 120 hertz 3.94 and for the 200 hertz 5.80 now you can take whatever you want from these measurements, they may not mean anything, but that's giving you a look at what the beads look like when the only thing that has changed is the AC frequency. Now let's look at somewhere where this can be useful. Alright, I've set up a little practice test weld thing here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing an edge buildup on this 125 thousandths. 60 61 aluminum and we'll be using 40 43 filler we'll do two passes one on each of the long sides the first one will be at the standard 60 hertz household um, frequency here in the united states and the second will be at 200 hertz and then we'll compare them because i believe the 200 hertz is going to um allow us to get a nicer bead with less danger of melting over the edges. We're going to set up for our first weld. Here is our AC frequency control. And we're going to set it for 60 Hertz, the standard US household current. 35% cleaning. And of course we are on AC 2T no pulse TIG mode. Here's our second weld. We're going to turn our frequency all the way up to 200 hertz. Our AC balance remains the same. You can see all the other controls remain in the same position. Alright, here are our two edge welds. This is the 60 hertz. This is the 200 hertz. Now I know you really can't see too much on the camera, but perhaps if I do like this, can you hear that catching? Now with the 200 hertz, you see it's not it's not catching. The 200 hertz allowed us to keep the bead tighter and directly onto the edge of the metal. Now any irregularities you see there are just my technique. That's the 200 hertz. That's the 60 hertz. And you're going to say, well, yeah, but that's the machine that did that. You're absolutely right, that's the machine that did that. 260. I don't know about you guys, but I want a machine that makes me better than I actually am. My entirely unscientific uh, test on AC frequency. I believe it showed me something. Did it show you something? If it did, let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Adventures in Welding. 
Now get the hell out of my shop.